What a day. Oh, there's an inflatable football pitch. Quite an interesting head coach. I'm buzzing to jump in and coach this session. Two feet only. Everyone come and sit down, including James Cutton. That's incredible. You need both hands. Heading into Sydney at Town Centre. I'm really proud of what he's achieved. Our head coach is in Northern Ireland. I've been talking about it all day. See local children having fun, playing football. Hi, hi, Captain Stanley. We're getting out in the fresh air and being active. Morning, hi Ollie Keen, how are we doing? Yeah, not too bad. So what is the plan for today, Keeper? So today I've got you and Adam with me. We are going to be doing some work from home, so we've got a few emails and admin bits to catch up with. We're then going to go a short drive over to Huntington to catch up with head coach Andy Killick, who is running a top session over in Huntington. And then we'll be heading into St. Nate's where we grab some lunch, do some bits, do some admin work, before heading over to Melbourne and Bassingbourne for tonight's football fun and development session in Bassingbourne with lead coach Eden. Some emails to crack on with, so I'm going to finish my lovely breakfast made by Tash, and then I'm going to head into the office, do a little bit of emails before we head off to see Super Andy Killick. Um, I took up cycling a couple of months, months ago, just towards the end of summer. So with Tash's dad, um, we go cycling every now and again. Probably not so much this time of year because it's a bit too cold, windy and wet. But when the weather is nice and sunshine and we like to get out and go for a, for a bike ride. Bye Tash! Putting the bins away. So we're heading over to Huntington to Andy's tot session. Andy's tried quite an interesting head coach in that he was um, one of my coaching assistants for a number of years in Sydney Eds, and then joined as a head coach. So it was really great for, for me personally to, to see Andy thriving in his head coach role. Like he was always an absolutely fantastic football coach when he was with me. He was someone that started and actually had never really coached children's football before, but loved football, had a real interest in it got stuck in, is a really good guy and, and really wants to do well for himself so has a brilliant attitude and it's brilliant to see Andy thriving in his role. So Andy took over my Camborne sessions at the time, I was running sessions in Camborne and my community was Camborne and St Nates and, and Andy took over Camborne, became a head coach and now I run sessions in Huntington as well so always good to, to catch up with Super Andy. Oh there's an inflatable football pitch. Oh, Andrew. Hello. What do you make of Andy's venue? Yeah, it's nice to, to get in out of the cold. It's not so warm in here, but yeah, perfect little space in terms of what you need for top top ball fun. Like ideal, get the inflatable pitch set up, lots of room for parents to sit down and watch if they want to or get involved. Um, yeah, excellent. I'm buzzing to jump in and coach this session. I always love jumping in and coaching two to five year olds inside the inflatable pitch. It's incredible. As children take their first steps into football to jump in, join them and their parents and have an incredible experience playing football. I'm going to be delivering a Tots football fun game called the weather game. So the last couple of weeks it's been lots of rain, frost, snow and um, in St. Nates we've had floods as well. So we're going to be doing the weather game today where we're going to be talking about different types of weather, teaching the children about different types of weather, but then completing football challenges with each weather type. So it might be really windy and we have to dribble around in circles or it might be thunder and lightning. We've got to stamp our feet and clap our hands. So we're looking forward to delivering this fun game. Your feet only. Football. Brilliant, my name's Kiefer, okay, and we're going to be playing the weather game today. What if there's lots of water coming from the sky, what do we call that? Rain, it might be raining. And you're going to put an umbrella above your head. Three, two, one, it's raining. Make sure you don't get wet. Time, it's going to be really, really windy. You've got to go in a circle because it's really windy. Superb. Everyone come and sit down, amp your feet and clap your hands. And I absolutely love jumping in and coaching tots. It's always so much fun to get involved and to coach, to coach a group of tots taking their first steps in football. It's incredible. I love rolling up the inflatable pitch. I reckon out of all the head coaches in the network, um, including James Cutton, who is the OC and should be the best at OC, OG, should be the best at deflating in the inflatable pitch. I reckon I can do it the best and in the quickest time. 
I recorded a video for the head coaches in Northern Ireland to show them how to roll up the inflatable pitch. And I've done that in five minutes and it was incredible. So that's my quickest, five minutes. I can do the inflatable goal in two and the foot dart in three. Thank you, mate. No Pleasure. Nice to see you. We just left Huntington after a great Tots football fun session. So now we're heading into St. Nades, heading over to Bohemia in St. Nades, which is a lovely little cafe that does incredible food. Um, do a little bit of admin work there before heading home. Um, yeah, so that, that's where we're off to now. Back to St. Nades. Just tucking into a lovely little burger at Bohemia in St. Nades. Lovely little spot in the middle of the town, which is always nice for breakfast and lunch. Tasha and I will come here quite a lot, so after lunch we we'll just crack on with a bit of admin tasks, and then we'll head back home. We need both hands. Um, so we're currently on the bridge heading into St. Nades Town Centre. St. Nades is an absolutely fantastic place. I'd lived just outside St. Nades and previously lived in St. Nades for about five years and this is where Tasha grew up and where all her family's from. So it's always great for me to be able to deliver incredibly fun football sessions in this local community and give back to the children. It's a place that made me feel incredibly welcome. I love spending time in St. Nades, going out for food and stuff. So yeah, I absolutely love St. Nates. And as you can see from behind me, it's got some beautiful views as well and some nice parks and rivers are flowing through it. I'm heading back home now, see Tash for a little bit of an update, see how her day is going, do some admin work. Um, got a meeting with Team Northern Ireland. We meet every week just to touch base, a little bit of um, training and education around the running of their Football Fun Factory franchise and just an opportunity to catch up with those guys. So really looking forward to that. That happens every Tuesday. And then we'll be heading over to Melbourne and Bassingbourne. I am trying to get my contact lenses out because they're hurting my eyes. Anyone that wears contact lenses will know how annoying this is. Daily activity is really, really important. So Tash and I are going to go for a lovely walk in the village and um, catch up. Haven't really seen Tash too much today. So we'll see what's been going on in Tash's there. Have a little walk, get some steps up before heading over to Melbourne and Bassingbourne. It's been really inspiring to see his business grow sort of from the start just after Covid. We started with one kid on a Friday rainy night and just to see where it's become now has been really really amazing. Every week all the kids that come are enthusiastic about football and you know, it's great. It's great to sort of see all the kids playing with their parents, that's probably my favourite part about it. You were one of the first guys or one of the few first guys so it was a bit Sort of going into the unknown but it's all worked out for the best and I'm really proud of what he's achieved. I can't believe how massive it's become and I'm not surprised because everything behind it is run so well the concept of what it's all about is just perfect and it's exactly what kids need. You know it's great that we can work on our businesses together and be able to do things like this during the day technically we're still working. Mm. Um, no, it's good. Um, I'm now just preparing for a meeting with our head coaches in Northern Ireland. So a Zoom call with those guys in you know, a couple of minutes time. Um, each week's different, so we have a weekly team meeting and that's just for me to offer my support. So some weeks will be really educational where we'll talk about operating the Football Fun Factory franchise business and what that means in their daily operations and how they can positively impact more and more children. Some will be around the delivery with the help of Johnny Martin, our, our head of delivery at the Football Fun Factory, so we can educate the guys on how to make the experience as enjoyable as possible for all the children that attend. And then some weeks it'll just be a, a catch up to see how everything's going, if there's anything I can do for those guys, if there's any support I can offer them and just touch base really. But an opportunity to just get together as a team and see how everything's going and work towards our main goal of being Northern Ireland's leading children's football coaching organisation. I've been talking about it all day, but we are finally off to Melbourne and then we're going to head over to Bassingbourne and we've got football fun and development at Bassingbourne Village College from 6 till 7 p.m. So we're now in the heart of Melbourne and we run football fun and development in Melbourne and hot football fun. We also run football fun and development in Bassingbourne which is, isn't too far away, and we're going to be running football fun camps in Melbourne as well. So we're going to just jump in the car now and head over to Bassingbourne where we've got football fun and development with lead coach Aidan. 
We're at um, Bassingbourne Sports Centre, Bassingbourne Village College. Um, so we're just getting ready for our football fun and development session from 6 till 7 p.m. Lead coach Aidan, who's, who's just behind me setting up as well, leads the session. So I'm really excited to be here tonight um, to get involved, do some coaching, meet all the kids again. Um, so yeah, looking forward to, to what should be a fantastic session. Yeah, absolutely buzzing, it's absolutely fantastic to come along to the session in Bassingbourne and see local children having fun, playing football, getting out in the fresh air and being active. Quick drink! A quick drink for me. Super, just have your drink on the line for me. Our oh, word of the week this week. Super, so in football you can make up your own skill. Super, you can make a game if you're in the playground with your friends at school and you make up a new game that you can play. Three, two, one, climb the ladder. I want everyone to go get a football, bring it back to me. Who's gonna be first? Some football coaches say that if you sit on top of your football, it turns them into an egg, but I think that's silly. Hi, hi, Captain Stanley. Captain Birdie, behind you. Liverpool, Liverpool are the best team in the world. No, Liverpool. That's true. I'm absolutely buzzing every time I get to coach a group of children, so it was fantastic. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Big smile, Betty. Everybody go out the way. He was trying his best the whole session. Can we get a big round of applause for Bertie for me? Once I've seen a grown up, then you can go. Mm, yeah. Yeah, go and move. Yeah, super, Louis. Yeah, super. Oliver, I've seen Dad. Great day, heading home now, gonna get in the car, head off, see what Tash is up to, maybe stick a movie or two on, have a cup of tea, and we've got some leftover Christmas chocolates that I'm gonna get stuck into as well.